Across the country this weekend, many PBS stations will air a Black History Month special, an evening with Ken Chenault, the African-American who was chairman and CEO of American Express for 17 years. Jeffrey Brown is back with a preview. Making history accessible and available to all is the goal of the History Makers, a Chicago-based oral history project collecting the stories of African-Americans from all around the world. Accessible online free of charge, the collection includes a range of people, some famous, some not so. President Barack Obama and his wife Michelle, actors Marla Gibbs and Ruby Dee, captains of industry like communications moguls Kathy Hughes and Earl Graves, and many others have shared their stories. Juliana Richardson is the organization's founder and joins me now. Welcome to you. It's a pleasure to be here. Tell us first a little bit about the idea behind history makers. How do you think about it? The goal was really to create the nation's largest African-American video oral history archive. There had been virtually no attempt to record the black experience with the first voice since the WPA slave narratives. There were 2,300 former slaves interviewed um, in the 1930s mm -hmm. as part of the WPA project. So I named some of the people, well-known names, but how do you, how do you pick? We're looking for leaders um, in many ways, but we really look um, through people's lives mm -hmm. uh, to help tell a more complete history of the African-American experience. Uh, now we've done uh, 3,200 interviews. 3,200? 3,200 wow. interviews in 413 cities and towns across the United States and some abroad. So you have one coming up uh, airing on PBS. Yeah, we're so, we're so pleased about that And it's with a businessman, one. Ken Chenault. Yes. Chenault. So t tell, tell us about that one. Ken Chenault, a lot of people don't know his story, mm -hmm. uh, though he has been the well-known leader of, of American Express. He mm -hmm. was CEO. He went to Harvard Law School and was really wanting to practice law. And rose to quite a business career. Oh, quite a business. We've got a short clip. Let's take a look. What the company has tried to focus on is reinvention and transformation. And I feel I played my part while I was there. But I think what's also important was the commitment that the company had to service, which really resonated to me, because we only did well if we served people well. What have you learned after so many of these conversations and profiles? We've learned um, that the, the African-American experience is very diverse. Um, a lot more complicated than, you know, we, we know. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of things that people don't know of. Like we were recently in Alaska, you know, people were laughing like, what, what about black Alaskans? You know, it's too cold up there. But the last the black Alaskan story goes back to the mm -hmm. mid 1800s. Yeah. And so we've, um, I would say that uh, the 20th century is really profoundly impactful. One personal note I want to add for our audience is my colleague and friend Gwen Eiffel was the longtime host for many years. We owe a lot to Gwen, and I, we miss her still to this day. She was our angel in many ways. An interview for us, people like Eartha Kitt and Diane Carroll. I remember well her telling me about it all the time. Yes. Yeah, it meant a lot to her. I think our project is increasingly important um, in terms of being able to show value. All right, the history makers, Juliana Richardson. Thank you very much. Thank you. How nice to remember Gwen. That series so important to her.